We had a gorgeous day today and we've had some gorgeous weather this week. It was cold this morning, but this afternoon we got back in the 50s after starting out in the 20s. You see the high clouds out there. We're going to see more of those as we go into tomorrow. Out there, the number right now is 38. 52 was our high and 27 was the cold low this morning. We've got 30s for most everybody right now. Some spots are already down at or below freezing. Denton's at 30 along with Reedsville, 32 degrees in Ashboro and Lexington. And out to the west, low 30s back in the Wilkesboro's and Mount Airy and in the mountains, 20s and 30s. High clouds, high thin clouds have been floating by and nothing causing us problems here or around the region. But there are more clouds on the other side of the mountains and those will be sharing our space in the sky tomorrow. But high pressure will still keep us dry tomorrow as it's in place. Now we got the main system we're watching coming out of the Rockies and the Plains. This is the one that hit the, the, the west coast so hard late weekend and early this week. It's going to lose a lot as it comes our way, but still we'll start getting some off and on showers the weekend into early parts of next week. And before we get to the weekend, this one model is showing a little strip of rain coming through here on Friday. I'm really eager to see what the new models will say tonight. Some of the other ones if they jump on board because they have not yet. So right now it's a lone ranger and we're going with a low chance, but the frontal system still coming and that's going to start generating more moisture this weekend. You can see Saturday into Sunday off and on showers into Monday as well. And then by Tuesday morning, it shuts down pretty quick. We get a little round of some snow up in the mountains. Now the Canadian, excuse me, the uh, European model shows a similar solution. When we're that far out, we like to see a match up. And when they do, we know our chances are pretty good. Now the amounts of rain on the European are down a little bit from where they were yesterday, but still around an inch or a little bit more in parts of the Piedmont. And the American model is still showing up around an inch and a half. So another one of those wet systems, thanks to it being an El Nino year. 56 degrees at the beach tomorrow with sunshine, 62 and uh, mostly cloudy sky on Friday. Now in the mountains, they'll see a few showers on Friday, 54 tomorrow and 53 degrees on Friday. In the Piedmont tonight, our low temperature or our temperature is working its way down overnight to a low of 29 degrees. And then tomorrow, we look for a high of 57. We'll start with some sun, we'll become partly cloudy. Here is your extended forecast. And you can see those temperatures go in the 60s this weekend with the rain chances. Highest chances are on Monday, 58 degrees. And then we start to cool off Tuesday and Wednesday. 8 to 12 days out, we cool off a little bit more. We're dry as well. 50 on Thursday, then we're back in the 40s, down to the mid 40s, lows right back into the 20s. But precipitation chances with that cold air are very low. And with that in mind, our snow chances remain pretty much nothing for the next week and a half and then a real tiny chance on Monday the 19th. That's the best I could find right now. Three degree guarantee tonight, 29 degrees. And my guarantee for this morning was for a low of 28. It was 27.